All right, Coach, well, you get to open up the regatta season finally and to do it against some good regional competition. Can you just talk about the, the weekend in general and getting to start the race season? Yeah, well, we can. We just really hardly can hardly wait to race. I mean, it's been a – it's always the really exciting, uh, the first race, and we've been training pretty well down on the Snake River, and uh, it's been kind of a long winter, so we're just ready to host Gonzaga and have a big whoop-up on Saturday. You've been talking about that training, and it's been going on all the way back since fall. What has the training been like for you guys, weather-wise down there, and, and also just progression for the team moving towards the season? Yeah, well, the whole uh, Pacific Northwest has been wet, and there's been, you know, quite a bit of flow. Even though, like, we don't really notice the flow, but what's the result is, or the result is um, that because the water's high everywhere else, we have a lot of debris on our river, so we have to just be careful clearing a lot of things out of the way and the course got put in last week so that's always exciting and um, you know I think Gonzaga has you know had a really rough time too with their water their lake being frozen and all that so they're going to come down a day early and uh, train on Friday at the snake and so it should be good. For your team um, leadership wise you bring back a, a couple rowers and Nicole and Yeva obviously and what else among those 10 seniors, who are some of those leaders that are driving the team's efforts so far? Well, you know, there's Nicole and, and Yeva we're really excited to have back. And, um, you know, the, the, the regular seniors of uh, uh, Isabella Watt and Teo Brindy, um, you know, there's then Chloe Rogers and, you know, there's just, it's just a really mature group. We have five, uh, no, three fifth-year seniors. And that's a bit rare for us. And so it's, it's nice to have... Uh, that maturity around the boathouse and you know everybody's contributing you know including our freshmen they are a really mature um, really mature group who've just kind of folded right into the mix and are contributing at a lot of different levels when you have such an experienced team does it create uh, an extra competitive nature for people vying for seats and, and things of that sort how's that been going i think it has been more difficult to make the boats this year yeah um, and I think the quality, you know, we might, I think we're a little bit ahead of where we were last year in terms of the quality of uh, practice that I see. But uh, you never know. It's just that time of year when, you know, I hope that, like what I consider to be fairly good, I, you just didn't, don't know and can't control what everybody else is doing. So, you know, it's really exciting. Following Gonzaga, we're heading to San Diego, and that'll be the uh, test of, you know, Pac-12 conference as well as Wisconsin and Tenet, Texas will be there. So it'll be a really good measure to see where we're at early in the season. And when you mention that competition, you guys obviously, again, yourselves have been seeing competition every day. But <laughs> now that you have another team coming in, what are the things that you look for as a coach in this first regatta? Um, just executing a very basic race plan, like really getting our best effort with good rhythm, good technique, you know, pretty. We keep it pretty simple early on, and it sort of stays simple in some ways. But if you can perfect simple, then you know you've got a you've got a good thing going. And then lastly, what do you say to Cougar fans who are maybe thinking of making their first trip down to the Snake River yeah. since they've been in Pullman, who have never seen rowing before? What should they know about uh, what they're about to see this weekend? Well, I think that our venue is one of the most beautiful places to row in North America and the weather looks like it's going to hold. I think that right now we're scheduled to race at 9 a.m., but we will make a call to possibly race at 8 if we feel like the weather is going to be better. So stay tuned for um, announcements on the web, and um, come on down. Bring a sweater.